these slips come out of the water. Fix a couple of seacocks. Touch up a bit of anti-foul. Get back in the water. ASAP. ASAP. So uh, we're getting hauled at 11 o'clock. Today is Tuesday. And we're due to go back in 10 a.m. Thursday. So give, yeah, give us a little bit of time. We're just going to pray that the seacocks that are on there, which have been put on very well because we put them on, uh, come off. Yes. So we'll heat them up. And How long ago did you put them on? Six months ago. Only six months ago. What? Yeah. Why aren't they working? <laughs> so frustrating. Anyway, we'll sort it out. And um, keep these guys occupied while we're on the hut. Different country, different rules. Kids weren't even going to be allowed on the boat or in the boatyard at yeah. all. We, like man <laughs> we managed to show them footage of the kids helping with boat work in Australia and kind of they said, eh, as long as the kids stay in the boat and don't get seen by anybody, then you should be okay. So we'll see, we'll see. She's excited for all the movies we have to watch. Oh, so she'll be stuck inside today. She'll be stuck inside today and tomorrow. What movie are you going to watch? Something fun. And do some crochet at the same time. It's a little bit shut. It is a little bit shut. Yeah. So, so we can't we can't shut it at all, like even if we try to fix even it. Even if we try to. What's the big one for? Big one's for our holding tank, which is up there. But so the issue, which I've just shown the kids, is alright, so in theory, if I shut that, we shouldn't be able to see the ground anymore. Alright, open. Shut, turn the light off for a sec, Ted. In theory, we should be able to see light. Oh, if I shut it, still see light. That's the problem. The stem snapped. So that's why we're on the heart, and it did it on both of our heads. And the other one is closed, so we can't open it. So I am not going to put the same ball valve back in. And that's the insides of our poo pipe. And it actually looks alright, it's not too calcified. <laughs> get in there, yeah, get in there. Mm. Mm. It's like, who wants to have a go at the didgeridoo? Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Melania! <laughs> That's our problem, guys. Cruising. How when, good is it? When sea pops go wrong. Totally, you're doing a good job. So, off to the water. Give it a bit of love. Or should be out of the water.
Well, who? You know I'm cleaning out this. Okay, this is the sea cockpit we've gone with. It's a true design, manufactured in New Zealand. Naturally, we have a bias towards it, because it's Kiwi. Here we go, coming out of the packet. It's always a good, good start. But the main difference here is a one and a quarter inch ball valve. The ball is not stainless steel. Now our issue was the stem, the part that connects the handle to the ball, that's what corroded and snapped in our other ball valves. So the theory is, open, sharp, no corrosion. Going on to stainless steel fittings, like this one here. That's the plan. So, time will tell, it's not something we take lightly. But I believe it's a good product. How do you say like a glove in French? Sorry? How do you say like a glove in French? Like, oh yeah, I understand. <laughs> we said like dad in mummy. No daddy. Um, so I have no idea what I look like, but I'm pretty tired. And I think my nails are pretty gross. And I have <laughs> scrubbed the whole hull by hand. Yep, yeah, 51 feet of Toria. Twice. Because I scrubbed it once with the scraper to get the trees off, and then I scrubbed it again with like a, and a kind of abrasive brush thing as well. So yeah. Hang it's on, been I, a big day. I think we need to get the light on here properly. Oh, do we? What? To just show off the beautiful bits of. I, I kind of smell like low tide. <laughs> On a positive note, we did replace the two skin fitting, sorry, the two ball valves and we broke one skin fitting in taking, in attempting to take out one of the busted ball valves. So we've replaced the skin fitting and two ball valves today and Sean has done all the awesome work on the, uh, on the hull. Oh. So all in all, winning. We could go back in the water in the morning, really. Um, but we'd but, like to put an extra little coat. We'd like to put an extra coat of um, anti-fell on the hull because there's some bits where we've anti felled the last two times with black but before that she had a blue bottom and there's bits of blue that are showing and we're not real happy about that so we want to just patch those bits up. That and the waterline. And the waterline yeah. Give it some love. So that's tomorrow's plan as well as just finalising the ball valves and getting the pipes back on. Um, I thought we'd do a little bit of a, a piece on why we're on the hard right now. Um, and it's because of these two. So the research that we were doing on them online didn't show us a whole lot of information. Um, lots of opinions, but not a whole lot of information. So what I'm about to say is I have my morning cup of tea is perhaps nothing more than an opinion, but that's what we've experienced. The reason, and you hear about exercising them, we've done that. Uh, have we lubricated them? No, we haven't, all right? Um, so I'll fall on sword there, we're learning. Uh, but they're two years old, and we had all of them out six months ago when we replaced our skin fittings. Um, so the reason we're out is because one has jammed open, and one has jammed shut. This one is our forward head out. This one is our aft head out. The issue is, I close the handle and it's still open. It's not supposed to work like that. 
Um, and the handle in and of itself is absolutely fine. What we realized the issue, the issue was, was that it wasn't the handle, it was the stem. So if I take the handle off, this little part here is called the stem. So handle connects, it turns, and ultimately the stem connects to the ball that's inside and opens and shuts the valve. The plumbing was still solid, it may not have let any water in, but uh, it only takes one thing to go wrong to lead to a catastrophe. And this, in my books, is enough to be a catastrophe if we have a plumbing failure and I can't shut the seacock. Um, so that's why we're on the hard. So we've replaced both of them. Interestingly, when I realised that this one had gone, which is the Ford one that had snapped open, um, I went, I'm just going to go and have a, a good play and open and shut, open and shut, open and shut the aft one a few times and I did that and within the third or fourth time of opening and shutting exactly the same thing happened. So, same, same. But that one snapped shut which means that we weren't able to use the head at all. Less of a risk when you're at sea naturally but not the best from a practicality perspective with six people on board it. So same failure points in both. So what we've decided to do with our head ones, with our head ball valves, we've gone stainless steel skin fitting onto a true design, what I'd call composite, plastic composite uh, ball valve or seacock for our heads. Uh, at the moment we're in New Caledonia and interestingly, uh, they, that's the majority of what they sell um, and in fact the, the chaps that work here it's pretty much all they'll put in uh, which is not like that in Australia that's why we're here so we dealt with them before it's worth four hours yesterday we had we had them out and that in, included replacing skin fitting there's an awesome local chap here um, called Francois lovely Frenchman uh, he and I sort of grunted these out with big wrenches um, four hours is what it took and yes we're on the hard and yes it's going to take 48 hours in total but I know it's done. tomorrow morning. Yeah. Hey. I think we've done quite well. We've just done a single coat of anti-fell today. Which is more opportunistic than Yeah. We just then it'll get us through a little bit longer before we have to do, do our, our proper job. Our proper job. Um and we were gonna have to buy a little bit of anti fell anyway, weren't we? Yeah. So we may as well do the whole shebang. Get in there. I'm in there, I'm doing it. Lube them up, babe. I'm lubing the balls. <laughs> being on the boatyard is concerned, that's pretty nice. Proper coffee and baguettes. Oh, luxuries. <laughs> yep. <laughs>
That's good. Yeah. Almost as good as a haircut. Nice. There's one. Nice, nice. Eh? We have some water inside, but it come, it don't come from here. Perhaps when you remove the pipe or something. Yeah, like yeah, this. yeah. Yes. But it's dry around the skin yeah, yeah, fitting. It's dry. We came well, off the heart and back in the water just this morning and uh, what a difference a couple of hours can make. It's doing it tough. And we're just slipping along. So you gotta take the highs and the lows, eh? episode Pippi and Dad went and dived on an anchor and I made new friends and tried windsurfing for the first time and then I had a sleepover with my new friends in this little bit of paradise. Hey have a cracking sleepover bro! Bye. Bye. Love you mate! Hit subscribe and join us next time. See you there! Thanks for watching our adventures. See you next time! Messy battle. Bye bye. Oh, well done, everybody! Give us a big yeah. thumbs up. <laughs>